Okay, so we're gonna cut some cute little feet on these fat little pots, which will be honey pots. And so what I'm gonna do is just guesstimate here where the middle is on each side here. So you see I've got it like quartered and you can be fussy and measure if you want to, but I just guesstimate. And okay, so that's gonna be like our middle point. And you see, I've got this foot here. Um, it's The clay is pretty thick right there. I left it that way intentionally so I could do this. Um, so what you wanna do is use your X-Acto knife and cut a wedge and be sure to make the um, the back of the, the cut deeper than the front because you've got a lot more clay in here than you do here and you don't want to cut holes into the bottom of your pot. So I'm just going to use that as my middle point and then cut another one here. I'm basically just going down to the bottom of this, um, this rim that I, you know, um, I didn't trim. This is a little soft here still. Okay, so now I'm just going to go around, do each side. And again, this isn't, isn't an exact science, unless you want it to be. I'm just not that fussy. I like doing these because it just gives the pot a little lift and a little personality. These are going to be honey pots. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just take the side of my blade and I'm just going to carve down to the end of that cut that I made. And you see, I'm cutting at a, at a bevel where it's not as deep here as it is at the bottom. So, <coughs> excuse me. So it makes it easier if I just go around in one direction to start. Okay. So you see I've got, I'm gonna make this a little deeper. Just be sure when you throw this on a wheel, you know, be sure to leave enough um, clay here so that you can try have enough to trim. Okay, so I'm just gonna bevel the rest of this. And then what I'm gonna do is um, just turn my knife the opposite way and bevel towards that other cut. Now that's not very deep, so I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. And it's better to do this gradually than to do one big cut that maybe ends up being too much. Okay. Clay is just way too much fun, right? Oh my gosh. All right. So I seem just scraping a little bit here. Some extra lines there we'll take off. We'll get the feet cut and then we'll go back and do some housekeeping on it. Okay, so you can see we pretty much have them cut. Um, they are varied in width, but you know, who cares? It's pottery. And I don't know, I think these little idiosyncrasies just add to the charm of your work because it's all yours. Not to be sloppy, but um, 
just to allow things to be. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go back and you see that it's pretty uneven there. And I'm just gonna try and even my cuts out. Make a little smoother transition here into the rest of the pot. I got a little cut there, so it's wet enough. I can still just smooth that together. And, <clears throat> you know, don't be proud. Just, you know, use your knife uh, any way you see fit. You know, if you want to drag it like I was doing there for a bit, do it. Have fun. Because pottery is all about fun. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit more off of here, trying to even it up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm also going to like just give this a little push on the bottom with my palm. There we go. Just to give it a little more lift there too. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my sponge, go around and clean this up. I prefer to use my fingers here. Huh, I got a big cut there. Little too much got away from me. So now I just have to make it look like I intended to do that. Budging it. Smooth out these cuts a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting my finger in there to make sure the cuts are don't show up. Okay, there we go. Looking good, checking inside, make sure I don't have any, make sure none of the cuts went in there and put holes in my pot, which it did not. And so there we go, and I'm gonna put it down. I think it's got the cute little feet. And uh, as I said, this is a honey pot. And so, if you come back and visit again, um, next thing I'm gonna do is make a lid for these honey pots and it'll be pretty fun and amazing. So here is the here are the feet, sort of up close and personal. I apologize, I know I wasn't um, always directly in the frame when I was carving, but you get to see what the bottom looks like. And then, as I said, it just gives them a little lift. And um, so I think what we're gonna do next is the Mishima decoration on them. And then I'm gonna show you some really, a really cool way to make lids, um, either on the honey pot or sugar bowl, whatever you wanna put a lid on. Okay, all right, tune in, I'll see you in a bit.